So today I woke up and decided to do something that everyone says will not work. Okay. The whole game revolves around meta, meta this, meta that, but I am a rebel. So I decided I will be a jungler. What's even better is that I will use sun as a jungler. What? You might say, yeah, sun is not viable, not in higher ranks at least. Please pick a hero. People flip their tables when they see off meta picks, especially in solo queues, where one wrong pick and two of my teammates might just go AFK. But that doesn't matter because I am a rebel. My team already has Esmeralda and Franco. Those two are melee and kinda tanky already. But that doesn't matter. I have decided Sun is the way to go. And to all demise, my teammate decides the same. He takes on Link jungle. Now we have 4 melee heroes and 2 wannabe junglers. Are you stupid or something? Solo queue is the land of sacrifices. You either sacrifice your desire to play your hero the way you want or you sacrifice your star. I choose to protect my star. For Sun as a side laner, I will be playing with this build and emblem. So we have a weird team composition and our MM decided to go mid, which means I can go golden. But ended up against the worst possible matchup, a 1-1. Sun vs 1-1 is a matchup I cannot win early on. So I will have to play safe or will I? Since we have this weird composition, the only way to shut the enemy down is aggression. We have to gank and kill their carries early on or they will carry us to our death pads later in the game. Is there a ninja who has stolen my skill? And the worst thing that could happen in between the game happened. The almighty lag. A few inches later, my team was all set for gang back. <laughs> yeah, boy. FBI, open up! First blood. Come on! <laughs> she ain't gonna survive against four dudes. We continue the onslaught as we try to take down more of their peoples. but only ended up losing more from our side. Since this is so, it's better to accept it. Even if we use all our abilities, that tippy toes one one is a bit of a nuisance to catch. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. We start the fight in a very awkward place and 1-1 one -one starts showing why she is a threat. We lose our Franco for not much gain. Sun did get a collector skin this month and talking about the skins, I want to mention our giveaway of 20 epic skins on 950k subscribers and we are just 12,000 more to go. So be sure to join it by liking and sharing the video and subscribing to our channel Kazuki Official. Okay. Since this is so, it's better to accept it. Using the power of I multiply myself and immediately take down the tower. We continue our aggression as we head on to mid where Lady Karina is solo taking the tower. My team was so scattered that we couldn't even pin down a single target. Take 
we decided to take down the tank first because he overcommitted. Go, boys! Several bad puns later. Show me huh? the real challenge. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Turtle was secured and we managed to take down the Masha who was acting like a jungler. We continue to push out lens as that's literally the only... I mean the best thing Sun can do. We go into a small skirmish and we trade two kills for one of our own. A good trade in my books. Then I do what I actually supposed to do. Take buff. There's a fight outbreak on the top side, but as a son, it's not always recommended to keep fighting. You need to know what you excel best at, and the only thing Sun can do well is push. So here I am at the boat lane. Masha is an equal threat when it comes to pushing and one versus one. But unfortunate for her, when facing me, it's never a one versus one. My clones are there to bring up the numbers advantage. Since this is so, it's better to accept it. Fight's happening? Not a problem. Let me take a buff first. I did not go all out in the fight because we got ambushed and CC'd in a very bad spot. Okay. Is there any Going all out means insta defeat at this stage of the game. So often times it's better to take a step back and then pounce on your enemies when they do not expect Easy. it. I cancelled my recall and used some skill to heal up. I am fed and have a decent item so I can easily heal back in a moment. We took out their initiator that was hiding and now it's almost impossible for them to contest this lord without a tank to charge into the fight first. While the lord comes. Don't wait and push alongside the Lord. Clear up lens so you can pressure the enemy from all fronts. Since this is so, it's better to go, boys! Easy! No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Has 
they managed to win the team fight because of their better team composition. But due to me pushing, we managed an inhibitor turret. This is going to add lots of pressure on the enemy. I managed to gank onto the 1-1 one -one and eliminate her out and later on take on Kufra. My friend Cook grabbed their Sicilian and that is pretty much the game. We go for an all-out base assault and that's GG. If you like this video, I'm sure you might be up for some similar gameplays. Victory! Click this video to know how to increase your win rate using this mage in this current season. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.